All right, today's deck comes courtesy of Jack Smith on YouTube, who commented on my previous build of uh, Timeless Surveil when the new uh, Surveil Lands came out. Um, and this person mentioned that uh, Thassa's Oracle has a potential combo here, um, which is a really interesting uh, way to use this card. So obviously Thassa's Oracle, very good if you can mill a bunch of cards and support that with uh, support the cards that do that with Underworld Breach. So we're basically going to be doing something very reminiscent of the um, Underworld Breach Brain Freeze Lion's Eye Diamond Loops that you'll see in uh, CEDH. And so basically what we do here is uh, you get a Thassa's Oracle onto the battlefield at some point, uh, but prior to that you basically have Underworld Breach on the battlefield and you do some sort of thing that involves us milling three, um, three cards. And how that's going to work in this deck is we're going to combo Dragon's Rage Channeler, uh, which surveils one whenever you cast a non-creature spell. So if you have three of these on the battlefield and you cast any non-creature spell, uh, you can loop that, that um, spell for as long as you have mana in order to uh, Underworld Breach your way to victory. Now, the mana part's kind of an issue here for us, except for the fact that Mishra's Bauble exists in the format, uh, which is very useful in of itself because of its combination with Jargon's Rage Channeler to get early um, Delirium out. Um, but now it actually serves as a combo piece as well, so we're layering this in, um, where if you have this be the non-creature spell that's triggering DRC, um, and you are able to um, do that three times with either through Dragon's Rage's Channelers or one DRC plus Enhanced Surveillance, uh, then you meet the conditions to infinitely cast Bobble, um, which technically gives you infinite draw, which sometimes is a drawback, but you know we'll get there when we get there. It'll just be a little bit narrow sometimes. Um, and you combo that with Underworld Breach in order to make sure that you can uh, win the game. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I really hope that we can get a Thassa's Oracle win out uh, because I've been trying to do that for the channel. And uh, so far, building a blue-black demonic consultation Thassa's Oracle deck does not really seem to be popular in either Historic or Timeless. It's very, very fringe and does not work consistently. Uh, so I'm glad to be able to give it a try here today. And basically, other than this combo, we're kind of smashing in a bunch of surveil things into a is it uh, Delver kind of shell. We're running the Thoughtbound Phantasms again, which I really did like. Um, last time we were in Grixis, so we were running Demir Spybug, and I thought that that card was cool, but for two mana it was a little bit clunky, uh, where we just basically want our one mana spells to come down and then our two mana spells to both help our one mana spells do stuff and to also do a bunch of things themselves. So let's look through the deck here. Uh, Unholy Heat, just kind of a staple in these decks already. Consider, surveils, and draws a card, so that's great for us. Um, and then these two creatures, as we mentioned prior. Expressive Iteration's coming back here just because it's such a powerful Izzet card. You know, banned in a few formats, uh, illegal and timeless, so that's great for us. Uh, we're going to definitely use this thing to great effect. Four Underworld Breaches, uh, we're going to be in a situation where we will want to value Breach, where we want to... Um, just play it as a spell to trigger DRC, possibly. Um, definitely a lot of utility out of Underworld Breach, and uh, this ultimately will be our combo piece as well, like I mentioned before. Two things that you might not necessarily uh, see in these decks, in, in these Is It Delver decks, but is a very near and dear to my heart card is Search for Isconta, a legendary enchantment for one in a blue. That has you surveil at the beginning of your upkeep, and then once you have enough peop uh, enough things in your graveyard, you get to transform it into a card that allows you to look at the top four for some uh, non-creature non-lands. So, you know, we play enough of those sort of once in future, all these things. Really, it's just uh, the eight creatures plus 24 lands. I'm going to count and actually make sure that that's right. 10, 18. Yeah, this deck is running 24. Uh, you, can, you can whittle that down if you so choose. Uh, but for me, that is going to be enough. So... Yeah, you know, you have a lot of things to hit here off of a flip search for Iskanta, so that'll be pretty nice. And we do play two because I like to draw them, but I don't like to legendary rule my uh, search and Iskanta. One thing that you can do um, that I picked up while playing blue-white control a long time ago is that uh, if you have two of these, it's pretty common to just flip one and then decline the trigger to flip the other one. So you get to have search for Iskanta, the enchantment, and the uh, sunken ruin land as well. So I think uh, two is a pretty responsible number of these. And then the uh, the big card here that we're going to hinge on is Enhanced Surveillance. This basically makes our Surveil 1s and the Surveil 3s and so on. And uh, being able to shuffle our graveyard into our library in response to Graveyard Hate is also going to be really good for us as well, since we uh, care so much about that. 
Um, with that being so, I and mean, yeah, also this kind of helps us if we need to, uh, if our uh, Thassa's Oracle is getting disrupted as well. Uh, and then the final thing is a one of Sword of Once in Future, which is a card that I definitely didn't think that I would be playing on this channel uh, so soon. But um, this basically is pro blue black, which are very common removal colors. Um, so I think that this is a really good card to keep in this deck. It will help our Dragon's Rage Chandler and Thawbound Phantasms get through sometimes. Uh, but it also has a Surveil 2 attached to it whenever you deal combat damage to a player. So, you know, our flying DRCs, why not add a Surveil 2, which could then become Surveil 4 to them. Um, and then also you basically can cast an instant or sorcery out of the graveyard, thus getting more value off that DRC and, uh, you know, continuing along that way. So I think all in all, this is a pretty tight knit deck. A lot of things going on here that we can overlay. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again to Jack Smith for uh, the comment on this. Uh, would not have uh, would not have landed on this without the comment. So that's always uh, it's always a good thing to have the community here to support. Um, do continue to leave your good suggestions here because uh, they are read and they are uh, they are used for uh, new content for you guys. So that being said, let's hop to some games here. Uh, sur surveil self mill should be a fun time. Here comes round one. All right, here we go. We're back to Timeless. Let's get it. No creatures in the opener. Really don't like that. I think that is almost reason to ship this one back. Although Expressive Iteration does find a lot for me. Uh, we can cast it on turn three, as early as turn two, potentially. They kept seven. I'm not sure I want to keep myself. We'll give it a try though. Why not take a first hand of seven to see exactly how bad it can be. We'll start with our Thundering Falls that turns on Sulphur Falls uh, and we will put Unholy Heat into the graveyard. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead and uh, do some land destruction here. Hopefully we'll be able to get out a little bit ahead of this. Um, I suppose we'll just take the, well, let's see, this is just target land, right? So, um, we may want to, well, we can try to play for a brainstorm and put some basics back into the deck for this. Uh, we do have, th uh, f three, I think three total basics right now that we've seen. I think I'm going to continue to play these non-basics, which is uh, a little awkward, but is what it is. We can't play anything with EI, so I think it's just Enhanced Surveillance. That turns on Thundering Falls uh, if we get to a turn like that soon. And then Enhanced Surveillance does shuffle back all these destroyed lands when we eventually get down to that situation. There goes Stone Rain. You got it. It's not the end of the world. Move to my turn. Uh, a lot of things in the graveyard. We may as well start with Polluted Delta here. Or actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and Thundering Falls. Let's put a bunch of stuff into the graveyard. We do not need so many of these lands. I guess this allows me to just go even with their land destruction, though. So I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to wait for, like, a Karn or something like that. Oh, actually, maybe for that reason I did want to have this. Um, Fire Inscription is what they're going to be going for here. So just some damage plus pings plus land destruction. Um, me having kept all these lands, I will be pretty solid when it comes to making sure that my opponent doesn't waste me out of the game. We'll start with the EI. Looking at these top two, we'll put uh, the Consider into hand, the Underworld Breach back into the deck, and exile these Sulphur Falls. That will be our land to cast Consider off of. We'll say go. Some builds of this may want to have uh, the Spell Pierce kind of deal. Yeah, that's a lot of fiery inscriptions. All right. Um, we don't really have any way to gain life, so that might be bad for us. We'll consider here Surveil 3 and draw. Definitely a lot of good value there. Um, the Bobble can just be breached, I think. Um, and we're actually very close to just going for it here. Um, another expressive iteration is probably what I want to do. That's actually a Thassa's Oracle here. So really we're just missing the repeated surveil of DRC. So that's what we'll be searching for with EI. 
Um, Sword of Once and Future might be nice in hand. We will put the land back and exile the Mishra's Bobble. Um, we can thin with Polluted Delta, which I think is now what we want to do. And we will play Mishra's Bobble. Next turn, we have Sword and Once in Future. Uh, let's take a look at the card that they're going to draw now, see if it's land destruction. It is Molten Impact, which we do not care about. We will pass the turn. We draw DRC with uh, Delirium, and I think, I think we have Lethal now. Well, actually, we know that they have Molten Impact, so that is uh, a little brutal. Um, let's fetch out a red producing source here. Probably Sulfur Falls. Nope, didn't resolve that. Uh, sorry, one more Thundering Falls, that is. Surveil 3. Uh, let's put uh, everything into the graveyard. It's just a DRC kind of lifestyle right now. So we go for our turn. We say, here's a Dragon's Rage Channeler. We say, here is a Shocked Steam Vents. And we say, here's an Underworld Breach. Here's a Surveil 3 as well. And now they probably Molten Impact me, right? Okay, that is fine. We take a little bit of damage here. They have another Molten Impact. Um, we still do our milling. Breach does get to happen here. Um, the issue is we do not have the mana to work with here. So we'll go DRC now, exiling anything that's not a DRC or Mishra's Bobble. We'll go Mishra's Bobble, exile one, two, three. Survey all these three into the graveyard. And opponent should see the combo here and try to eat my DRC. We'll stack these Mistress Baubles and not activate them right away. Let me actually make sure that I'm killing all the lands first. Um, while they do have land destruction, we have seen enough, including the ones in our hand, that we just want to uh, not worry about those. <clears throat> I'm less worried about creatures as well, so I'm probably going to exile on Holy Heats. Maybe keeping one. We already have three considers, so we'll get rid of some more. Continue to combo. We have 22 cards left in deck. That means seven cards need to happen here. There's another Mishra's Bobble. Um, and then we'll get the fourth Mishra's Bobble here. And then now we'll start to loop through all these. One, two, three. Oh, no. Let's get rid of some lands. Well, that is important. We continue to surveil three. They are letting me have this uh, with Molten Impact. And I think I will need to ship the turn here pretty soon. Um, it's fine. Yeah, because I don't have um, I don't have a way to make additional mana here, so I do need to I do need to pass the turn. Um, we will place a uh, backup DRC so that we can get even more milling going. And then we just hold this back up under World Breach. We have uh, Thassa's Oracle in our hand. Things are looking good. So um, we will take a look at their top right now. Revitalize. We don't care. Let's uh, exile from Graveyard to get Mishra's Bobble back out. We don't need heat. Well, I guess we'll leave the heat. We'll leave one heat. Leave one land. Trigger, trigger. I think we send all this to the graveyard. Just continue to fund our next turn. And I think now we just say your turn and uh, we will play this next turn out. One turn, sack our breach and uh, we get ready for the final turn coming up next. A little bit awkward. I would have liked to be able to just go all in right now, but it is what it is. 
Uh, only nine cards left in library, so we got to be careful about these baubles, not to activate them too much. That is the Molten Impact. You got it. And basically, they'll just need to do another uh, another kill spell on this DRC, but it doesn't matter because we can cast everything with Breach next turn. All right, cool. And uh, let's just go ahead and pop some baubles here. Cool. Check our top. Top is a DRC suite, so we actually don't even really need to have the Underworld Breach. Uh, and let's get the last one of these into the grave. That means we have five cards in library effectively at the beginning of our next upkeep. All right. And we have to move our turn here. Quad draw from Mishra's Bobble. Let's end this game. All right. So let's show DRC. Let's show Underworld Breach. We'll show the Surveil 3. Uh, let's get second DRC out. Uh, sorry, that's not what we want to do. We want to uh, just strictly do this off of Bobbles. Exiling uh, 1, 2, 3. Surveil 1. And that is the last card in our graveyard. So then uh, we'll play this fast as Oracle here. That hopefully should be a Thassa's Oracle victory. Amazing. Have not been able to get that off in how many years of Magic? I've been playing this thing since like about 2019 or so, uh, whenever it was uh, first released. So pretty cool to finally get this on the uh, on the list there, even though that was not a thing that you could do prior to MTGA. But um, I think uh, didn't Thassa's Oracle come out after MTGA had been around? I don't really remember the order of events there, but... Good round one, uh, we were able to execute the combo. Let's go into round two and try for another one. Okay, round two, let's go. Opening hand has the Thoughtbound Phantasm, which is a good card. We have a few things that do power it up, so I'm into this. We're a little bit slow on turn two though, which is sad. We can use Consider turn two if we have to, I suppose. I'd really like to get Search for his Conta down though. That's the best. Looks like Phantasm dies. They haven't played the land yet, but they're thinking about something. Just a forest, okay. So here is Sulphur Falls. We pass and draw on their end step. A Mind Stone in Black and green. Here's consider. We surveil. Uh, we would like that land. Move to our turn. Alright. A couple lands here. I think that we go expressive iteration looking for a land. Ooh, bobble's good. I think we take bobble. We put the land back. Put a bobble in this turn. And uh, we have another one here, and we can go Polluted Delta for a Surveil land. We'll end turn. I don't care about seeing that card necessarily. Would have been nice, I suppose, but eh. Let's try to get some more perfect information. I think that I would be down to Surveil my first card, look at my first card. And look at their second card, that would be nice. Assemble the team, this could be show and tell. Not super confident in that call though. Haven't seen blue yet. Waiting for a move out of them. Not getting it yet. Verdant Command. Ooh, we're doing some squirrel stuff. All right. Well, let's look at their top card. <coughs> See what's going on here. File of Galadriel. Um. Okay, that's a new uh, new card for me. 
Uh, let's make sure that we do our surveil first. Thundering Falls. What do we want here? The land is not necessary. Let's look at our top. Another land, okay. Move to my turn here. Get a few draws back in. Um, one surveil means that we're able to attack with Thoughtbound Phantasm. We're gonna start with the eye. Uh, okay. We are very close to just comboing if we take Breach and play DRC this turn. Um, so that means we can go tap steam vents, go DRC. Unfortunately, that means no attack with Phantasm, but we're set up to just win the game. So like, that's just better. Dispute, okay. And they just pass back, so uh, with two mana up, we could combo here. Let's try it. So this is Enhanced Surveillance first. We will get a Surveil trigger. <clears throat> Put away that Steam Vents. Uh, I think it's a smart idea to attempt a uh, attack in, see if they would uh, spend their mana in any which way. Looks like things just pass on and we are clear to attempt a win, except we are actually one mana off. That's unfortunate, so we will just wait a turn. Uh, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. Now, unless they combo me next turn, which I really don't know how they do that, we win. Peregrine took, yep, so food combo. He combos with another legend, if I recall correctly. Can make two foods, the other one is when a food is when a token is created. Okay, no, this might just be like food and token value. Okay. I am not really worried about it, plus they're tapped out. Alright, I think we just uh, whack them here. Thirty-six cards in library. Let's try to be as efficient as possible with this. All right, three things into the graveyard. Uh, we do have the opportunity to uh, flip this Consa. Might as well do that because it's an extra land. Uh, we have second DRC. Love to see that. So let's play our land. Go DRC. Go Underworld Breach. Get uh, six cards into the graveyard with each one of these. Should be a quick route to victory. One, two, three. And I guess um, there is some merit to having a, a spell pierce or something like that that can be cast out of the graveyard that does protect our combo. Especially the fastest oracle at the end. So you could argue that it's a mistake not to have that. Um, if I were to do a V2 of this deck, I'd probably put at least like a package of negation in potentially. Probably like a, um, probably a spell pierce or four. Uh, but at the cost of what cards, I'm not really sure. Anyways, a lot of surveilling happening. We have an 11-11. It is so good. We will just finish this out here. Let's go. Surveil another six. 20 cards left in library. Should just be uh, three or four more times of this. Uh, they're looking at my library like they want to take something out of it. Luckily, we have three Mishra's Bobbles, so I don't see how they win. They'd need to somehow interact with my Thassa's Oracle trigger if they want to uh, stop me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There goes the sword. Maybe they'll exile that if they have the ability to. Bobble. Exile. One, two, three. One, two, three. And 
and uh, I believe we know the order of the rest of our library now, right? No, not completely. All right, uh, no more baubles in the graveyard, so let's activate a bauble. Look at their top, see what they're trying to do. Spider food. Oh, they can actually destroy stuff. Looks like we have to win before that's a possibility. Another six, and uh, the next Mishra's Bobble will do it. And uh, if they somehow stop us, we are going to die in their upkeep as we'll need to draw a card. So um, we could actually be a little cheeky about this, I suppose. And we have one, two. They could kill one of our creatures, meaning that we would probably have at least two, um, two devotion when uh, the Thassa's Oracle trigger resolves. So we could leave one card on the top, but at this point it doesn't really matter because we've had to uh, miss his ball to sack multiple times. So we kind of just go for the glory here, and uh, if we die, we die. Bobble for the last time, exiling one, two, three. Trigger, trigger. Done and dusted. Last two come here. Bang bang. And here is the Thassa's Oracle for the victory. If it doesn't work, we have a 1919 that can attack. Let's see what happens. Trigger on the stack. They could uh, fatal push the Thassa's Oracle, but it looks like they can't do it, so we win. Cool. Round two. Did the thing again. Um, I am feeling pretty happy about this so far. We get to make big creatures with Thought Band Phantasm. Honestly, the surveil is great, and this has kind of got the feel of something that when the combo's going, you kind of converge on the kill, rather than you have to kind of keep the rickety train going until you're able to uh, finish the game off. So, great round two, round three coming up here. See you there. Okay, here's round three. No creatures, don't like it. Thought and Phantasm is strong, Search for Skanta is strong. I don't know if I get rid of Unholy Heat or not. I think I take this, I get rid of maybe the blue mana source, and then we just hope that the search for his Kanta finds us a land. <clears throat> Going to pay two life here. This gives me the ability to randomly draw a untapped mana source for the search. Lunark Veteran. Okay. Could be worse. We need to very quickly get Unholy Heat online. There's the search for Escanta. So now Thoughtbound Phantasm grows every turn. Enhanced Surveillance will make that better. There's the innkeeper. Maybe this isn't flyers. This is actually some sort of combo deck, maybe. Uh, do we want do we want to consider? I don't think we want to consider. We want to fill the graveyard for unholy heat, and we would like to draw land. All right, that thing got bigger. We do draw the land here, so that is un enhanced surveillance into unholy heat. Feels decent. Let's see what they play here. Trellisara, we kill that. Triggers go on the stack, we'll respond to those. So this is like old Soul Sisters type tech. Where's the plowshares on what? Prosperous Innkeeper? Oh, right, to keep the Trellisara alive. That makes sense. We should be able to deal with that. So that is instant land in the graveyard. We'll need to dig a little bit further in order to uh, meet the requirements for this. Trellisara is not out of the range of Delirium and Holy Heat yet, so could be worse. Uh, it's actually getting really close, though, so that's not good. Okay, move to turn. Need some good hits here off of this. Uh, just instant land again, that sucks. Um, we go like this. We'll probably use the consider, try to find something else. Do it off the basic. DRC is good. How close are we? I think we hit it if we mill the DRC. 
right? Because it's uh, enchantment instant land. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta put the deer sand in the graveyard. So sad. That does give us the only unholy heat right now. So we murder Trollsara. We take polluted delta, and then we put another land in the bin. Uh, I guess I could attack. Probably should have attacked. Need to pressure that life total before they do whatever life gain crap they're trying to do. Third land comes down. This is when these decks kind of get annoying. There goes Skyclave Apparition. I think they take my Phantasm, right? They take my Search. Okay, fine. Could be worse. We have another one. Das is Oracle. Rip. Let's get a Surveil Land here. One, two, three can go away. Kind of think it's time to just attack. Force some trades where they die. Seems good to me. We do have value Thassa's Oracle as a thing that could happen as well. They go in for three. The two things get worse. Now there's the Skyclave Apparition. Probably takes out the Phantasm because I can respond to uh, an enhanced surveillance target. Yeah, that's not good. That is really not great. Oh, and we just draw land here. I think I need to just go for value Thassa's Oracle now. Okay, so we'll just take a top steam vents, go for Thoracle. This is going to be Devotion 3. Look at the top three. We would love to put this on the top of our library. And we'll pass. So we still want to take three a turn. Yeah, I should dig us out of whatever situation we're in. Yying into a into a underworld breach is strong but not good because we don't have access to a Mishra's bobble to loop. We're actually very close if we can find uh, both bobble and uh, breach. Breach somehow needs to get into hand though, which is a problem. Okay, well we definitely block here. Block the one that has higher uh, mana value under it. Go to eight. <clears throat> we can survive a little bit more of this. Here's the eye. There's a breach. Uh, breach goes to hand. We can play a land this turn. Put this one back. We can just use a red here. So this is Breach here. <clears throat> Breach can find me DRC, which can then get me Consider. Oh, the Thassa's Oracle just got exiled. Okay. Well, now things get tough because we don't have another one of those in our deck. Here's DRC. Exiling one. Well, we'll start with the lands. One, two, three. And Unholy Heat gets us back at 2-2, which is strong, and we do surveil a little bit if we do that. So we'll do this to start, and that's really all that we can do unless we hit a bobble. One, two, three. All right, no hits, that's sad. All right, a little bit of fodder into the graveyard. We'll get a 2-2 back, which is great. And, uh... We just gotta pass. Decent value breach, could be better, could be worse, it is what it is. Gotta hope for a good top deck here. Voice of the Blessed is gonna be a problem for me though. So unfortunately the value Thassa's Oracle is kinda gonna bite us here. We'll have to try to scale up a DRC. Uh, Unholy Heat on Voice of the Blessed is great. Gives me a lot of time here. There's some Mishra's Baubles. Um, I guess I take one of these. No, I gotta look for another uh, breach. The next breach is how I really pull ahead. This must attack. And we just have a blocker that can trade and produce a 1 1. The RC is a win con in of itself. 
And I think we only have the one, right? We've only seen one of them? Yeah. Their life gain's annoying, but at least they don't have something that does anything with it. The scurry oak almost kills me if they can find a heliod. Okay. Well, it's gonna come down to whoever can find the pieces of the puzzle first. We go to seven. They're chipping us down slowly but surely. We have a one-one to block. Take a big draw here. Search for Skant is huge. Big surveil here. Now there's underworld breach. So our next turn we go off. We just have to survive to it. Uh, must attack. Say go. If they combo with Scurry Oak, it's not the end of the world. Looks like they can't play whatever it is that they had. I am interested in making a block with the life gain guys. We go to four. Another luminous battlefield guy. Oh, that is a flyer, which is annoying. Mm. Okay, they have more ground creatures. We'll just need to produce as many DRCs and stuff as we can. So, move to our turn. We do not surveil the breach away, but everything else can go. We will transform. We will play the breach. Trigger the surveil. That's some good stuff here. We will keep the phantasm on top. All right, and then let's start casting some things out of our graveyard. Here's DRC. Exiling everything that's starting with a land and isn't an artifact or creature. Um, we can remove the worry of a scurry oak killing me next turn as well. I think that's probably smart to do. We have multiple in holy heat, so I can work like this. Big surveils happen. Um, the sword will be good value here. And uh, yeah, these are actually pretty solid. So I think I'll just uh, put another Mishra's Bobble out. Uh, exiling one, two, three. Um, I think I'm probably gonna put one DRC down. Yeah, I can go. There's the Bobbles. Now I want to unholy heat their Scurry Oak just to be safe. Getting rid of one, two, three. Surveil, surveil. And then uh, I think I just want all these creatures here. So we will chill here. I think we have two bre uh, two breaches left, right? So that is uh, one breach. Just one breach. Okay. Uh, yeah, just one breach. Okay, cool. So two more left in deck. We can try again uh, here in a little bit. Let's view this and yeah I think we're just happy to draw the rest of these out um, yeah that's fine I can get three extra damage in if I unholy heat now do I want to do that I guess so um, keep a DRC keep an unholy heat one two three then I suppose there's still a few things that I'm okay to discard like these lands um, we're not going to exile anymore here. We want that. And then finally, Mistress Bobble here. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So check their top. Another Scurry Oak. It's fine. Check their top again. And then we'll do the final check after they draw. We... Oh, crap. We can't attack. That's a little annoying. Um, artifact, instant creature. Oh my god, we don't have another land. I exiled the last land. That's a mistake. We will get to it next turn. Sack the breach. Ah, that's right. The enchantment's the last one. I forgot that I exiled the other enchantment. Alright, so we draw our two cards. Sort of uh, once in future is going to be great. Scurry Oak doesn't fly. They can gain their life all they want. Um, we will, I think, just now look at their top again. Good. Just to land. 
I think we may be over the hump with this. So we'll do sort of once in future on DRC. Putting one, two, three away. We'll look for another breach. One, two, cool, found the breach. Put this on one of these guys, cast the Thoughtbound Phantasm, cast the DRC, move to combat, swing in, hit for eight. We surveil, growing the Phantasm. Should be good against another attack. Um, we can surveil to instant or sorcery from the graveyard. Unholy Heat's a good one. Unholy Heat could kill uh, maybe Lunark Veteran. I think Scurry Oak's probably better. Big triggers happening here. Uh, we have two breaches. We want to make sure one and the other does go to hand. Huge. Uh, and that's perfect. So they can take their land. We shouldn't die. And we have breached the kill. All right, that was a cool way to go about a victory. Um, even though our one win con got exiled, uh, you can actually just make some pretty big creatures with this. Thoughtbound Phantasm, over half of the way to the 10-10. Through three flyers in the air are no joke when you can maintain your delirium and don't mess it up like I did. And then sort of once in future, uh, I mean, that 3-3 three three becomes a 5-5 five five and that just feels a whole lot different. Plus the ability to just start um, murdering things out of the graveyard with uh, the triggered ability on damage is awesome. Giving them kind of like free flashback. Cool. Good run three. Here comes run four. Let's get it. Okay, here we go. So round four, I think this is. Get an early DRC. No Mistress Bobble to turbo that off, but um, if we can get Delirium, then we feel really good about this. DRC and Enhanced Surveillance into Consider turn 3 sounds solid. Kind of falls apart if we get uh, Removaled on turn 1. Uh, it's a Ragavan, maybe we just want to kill that instead actually. That does change the math here. Get rid of that, that is definitely a better than 1 for 1 trade for me. So I guess it's DRC hold up enhanced surveillance or unless they do something scary, I go for enhanced surveillance instead. Don't like the idea of Bowmasters really. I think I shock steam vents here. Get a surveillance on and then that means the DRC can immediately start to do interesting things. Bowmasters puts a hole in the uh, I want to draw a bunch of cards with Mishra's Bobble plan, so. Okay, this is Aggro Rakdos. Loud and clear, so we want to be able to recast this on Holy Heat if possible. Keep that in mind when we are exiling cards from the grave. Bobble. Take two. Fine. They activate bubble now or no? Nope. So, one mana on DRC, one mana on consider, or do I enhance surveillance plus DRC? No, I think it's DRC plus consider, so I can use Thundering Falls now. Surveil three. And then we want to just turbo up this Underworld Breach as soon as possible. We're close. We need a bobble, right? That's the only thing. Just the bobble, yeah. There's a DRC. And then a consider. So if we can find the bauble here, we'll have four mana next turn, which is enough to breach, cast bauble a bunch of times, and then um, Thassa's Oracle. They look at my top, fine. We are going to wait for removal or for them to try to kill me with uh, a Bowmaster's trigger on DRC. We can curve one kill spell. Kamano is not the worst thing that could happen to us. They have Skewer the Critics on DRC. I pray that they just try to make use of the Kamano instead of uh, killing DRC. 
Or I also hope they go face with that. Okay, it's just a Ragavan. Totally fine. Consider if we hit Mishra's Volvo here, we win. Darn. It's okay, we still have three more with the actual uh, consider. Dang. Maybe we draw it here? Dang, okay. Ah, oh, crap, and we lose DRC. Oh my god. Okay, fine. That is a thing that happens. They hit Ragavan. That skewer of the critics is a little bit less good. They go Mistress Bobble again. I'm sad because they have Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. Let it happen. Just another land. We're going to take a Surveil here. Go for another Enhanced Surveillance. And then it's Underworld Breach next turn. Possibly after we consider at the end step. Just trying to set this up one more time. With the River Glide Pathway on red, we have now enough mana to Breach. Thassa's Oracle plus play one DRC back. All we need is one Mistress Bobble. That wins us the game. Oh wait, no it doesn't because we have to kill Bowmasters, what am I saying? Alright, so this is still a two turn kind of deal. Come on, I'll get big here. Oh, they might just kill. Yeah, I think they just uh, end the game here. Might have been a turn too late, that's unfortunate. They have their own DRC. Really not the worst thing that could happen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One consider trigger goes to nine. And that kills me, I think. We'll wait to see it in the attack. And that is looking like seven mana here. Let's go polluted delta. Or a Surveil land, our last one. That's a Surveil for five. There's the Mishra's Bobble that we were waiting for. Unfortunately, that couldn't come earlier. And uh, we will do one more Consider, just to check another five. Yeah, okay. Could not get lucky enough. I mean, it's crazy that for uh, basically two mana there, I get to look... Uh, or actually just one mana there effectively. I can look 11 cards deep. Pretty sweet. Um, otherwise, we will just be dead to Rakdos aggro. Uh, don't often see Ragavan plus Kumano, but uh, the aggro decks are evolving. They're moving into uh, black red now. Let's see what cards they used and uh, what's interesting about them. The bump in the night's kind of interesting. That's theoretically just a, um, just a lightning bolt. This is just uh, how you can play six bolt or eight bolts plus Ragavan plus Bowmasters. I mean, yeah, it just seems like a pretty solid deck. Mistress Bobble is a little tough in the mirror match with Orcish Bowmasters because a lot of their stuff does die to a one one or does die to a, a mirror match with the Orcish Bowmasters. Kind of feels like I should be playing it in this deck, but um, I did want to shave the black mana. Anyway, round four done. We have round five finishing up here. See you there. All right, here's the fifth and final round. Mistress Bobble to start off with. Nothing to feed the Thoughtbound Phantasm. If they mulliganed, I would have taken a mulligan, but I think I can probably function off of this. All right, well, we basically just get a bunch of redraws, so let's see if it's good. Um, I guess I'm happy to just double bobble now. Get to look at two of their cards. Gala Greeters, some kind of creature combo deck. That's one of the nice things that's playing uh, about coming back to Historic, is that there are truly a lot of different uh, decks out there. So this is just probably Elves plus Gala Greeters for some other ramp or uh, go wide strategy, or sorry, go tall strategy. They drew their card, let's look at the top again. <clears throat> land will be next, Elder War Master. Draw our land, it's a Thundering Falls. We can go probably EI next turn. I'll just surveil now. Go our Thoughtbound Phantasm, build that. 
use the other Mishra's Bobble once they draw their card. Ooh, we're proliferating here. Is it proliferating just the Gallag Readers? I don't know what else in Elves gives you 1-1 counters like this. Well, for me, it's just going to be Expressive Iteration to start off. There's Double Breach. Let's go. Um, well, we'll Surveil. It's a good idea. And I don't want Blue Mana as much as I want Red Mana right now. Would have been nice to play Blue Mana, though, so that I could play Consider. All right. I have a little bit of a problem with how I sequence that. Should have been a little bit tighter. Oh, we are going wide on their side. Oh boy. If they do this, they're going to probably try to Evo Sage me next turn. So we have Consider here. We can Surveil again. Uh, I'm worried if I attack, I just straight up get murdered next turn. I think I should attack, though. Right, I can't because it's not a 5-5 yet. Okay, we'll just grow it in response to attacks. Try to take out the... Maybe the Huntmaster, if that's given as an opportunity to trade. Yeah, Elvish Clan Caller is a thing that exists, sure. I think we're going to get bowled over. <laughs> this is about to be real, real bad. This deck can survive things like this if it starts with an unholy heat, but I think we're past the point where um, anything can be done. Oh, here's another visionary. Oh yeah, wow, look at him go. Okay, cool. So, I may be able to get a trade for the War Master if they're just uncareful in attacking. Alright, so, here's Delta. 10, 16, I mean, we're just going to be almost dead hand surveillance is good we do want to play it but we can't yet here's consider hopefully we can find an instant cannot maybe we'll get lucky no it's enhanced surveillance number two all right we will take the block here on war master stop their army from going even wider uh, but we are now at three, and they have like 8,000 creatures. Okay. Seems as though that's going to be about it. Um, I can do some things with Mishra's Bobble if I want to be annoying. Um, we go this into Enhanced Surveillance. We would actually need to have DRC and be able to go off right now if we want to win. I can get Lucky Consider into a DRC... Then I'd be going down to one mana. Yeah, not much can be done here, sadly. Well, let's uh, just go ahead and uh, we'll let them have it here. We'll play the Consider. We'll exile one, two, three. I think it is due diligence to play the Mishra's Bobble. All three of these would go to the graveyard. Um, I suppose I could hit... What is it called? Um, I can mill a bunch of... Um, I could mill a bunch of Unholy Heats, but I don't have the mana to cast them. One, two, three. And uh, yeah, we say go from here. I'll check their top and my top. And say go. Well, we'll check their top twice, I guess. Anyway, we're kind of just prolonging the inevitable here. I think we die to a stiff breeze in this next turn. Okay. Trigger, trigger, let's see what we would have drawn. Would they have been useful? I mean, definitely this would have been useful. Unholy Heat is what we were talking about, but um, by this time we've exiled most of the stuff from the graveyard. Oh, unnatural growth. Cool. I think uh, at least this way I'm just happy to die to something interesting. So uh, creatures get big. They attack all in. We can do nothing but block. Uh, we will just let them deal full damage here. And that will be the end of round five. Pretty solid game here as we go to negative 55. I think overall the series has been really nice. Got a few good combos in there. Definitely died to some pretty quick strategies, but you know, that's the nature of the game.
Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out the deck list in the video description below. Do all the YouTube stuff like liking and commenting to help with the algorithm. Uh, let me know if you tried the deck, how it, how it did, and if you have any suggestions for it. I think one of the initial um, thoughts as I recorded this league was that um, having a way to deal with making extra mana could have been really nice. Things like a Burgi or Runaway Steamkin possibly could have been good. I think that the, the red mana... Is not quite there for Steamkin, but maybe a one of uh, Bergy could be good. Uh, who knows? That's always something that we can experiment with uh, later down the line. But for now, that brings us to the end of the video. So if you're new here, subscribe for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around.